Hey guys, Ryan Earnhardt here from creativesoundlab.tv. Today we're going to be checking out three different microphone stands, really kind of my favorite microphone stands here at my studio. They're all actually not that expensive. And I definitely think they're worth checking out for your own studio if you're looking for microphone stands. Okay, so back in 2002, 2003 maybe, um, I got these stands right here. Now these stands are from the drum hardware company, Tama. And I know that some people have been talking about this lately, uh, but I've had this thing since 2002, 2003. I thought it was kind of weird, you know, like Tama, but then there was a microphone stand. Um, I think they're called Tama um, Stage Master. And the key thing about these stands was this joint right here that makes them so amazing. I mean, this stand is, is what, 16 years old? This stand has been on tour, it's traveled. I mean, it's really been used like day in and day out. These are my go-to stands. So you can put a heavy mic and it really, it won't sag, it's great. I mean, you can just lock it in and you know that your mic's not gonna move. It doesn't take a lot of like twisting and turning. You just know like with a medium amount of torque on this right here that your mic is not gonna move. It's great. I got these first. Then I got two of these short guys. And these, same kind of deal, right? This joint here is key. And no matter what, you just, you know, you can adjust it, you lock it in and it won't move. It's just fantastic. Again, the base of these, real simple. They fold up like this. I usually will just go like this, throw them up on a hook on the wall. I mean, they're just great stands. These are older stands, but they actually still make these. Now, I don't have one of the new of the short guys, but I have one of the new tall stands. And this is, uh, what they currently produce. I just opened this up out of the box. Ironworks Studio. Now the cool thing about these is the, the boom arm is way shorter, right? So you can extend it out, but you don't have to have it extended, which is great. But the key thing here is just that, that joint that you can move quickly and you can lock it down quickly and it's really sturdy, that's key. Now, one thing that really drives me nuts is when you can't, when you can't lock down a stand, right? So no matter how hard you turn that locking mechanism, it just does not want to lock in place. It'll still sag over time. I actually have a clip of uh, my friend Jordan singing into uh, a SM7B, and the whole time the SM7B is just sagging. It, it drove me nuts. I couldn't get it to stop sagging. On top of that, these stands, it seems like there's always something coming loose, like, oh, this joint's coming loose, and oh, sorry, this joint down here is coming loose. I gotta tighten that up, and then, oh, sorry, this is loose. It's like a million places that can loosen up. But on these stands, I've noticed that that's kind of kept to a minimum. You know, there's there's basically the, the waistband that controls the height and then the main joint. And of course, the part around the mic. So this is, uh, this is actually a really, really great uh, version of the same stand. Okay, and again, this is, uh, you know, I wanna say under a hundred bucks for, for both of these so far, right? So, I'm really looking forward to getting another 20 years out of this one. And the weight is actually significantly more than this one. I'd say double the weight. So that's a short and a boom stand. But the final one is an extra heavy stand. And I have an extra heavy stand behind me from my AAR88. And that actually has been a great stand. Yeah, what is this? It's the SMS 7650, and that goes for 180 bucks. I, I looked it up. There's other like stands out there, like Latch Lake. I mean, you're looking at like around $500 for these stands. They're really heavy duty. You're going to put you're putting expensive mics on there, so of course, like it's worth the investment. I mean, if we just need to put a mic over a drum set, I, I don't know that I could pay $500 for 
a good boom stand, you know, like I'm okay with an onstage stand. But I found something that is not a part of the normal vocabulary of a working studio. And that is actually a Flashpoint 10-foot C-stand. And that looks like this. So, these stands, uh, you can get them for between 150 and 100 bucks. They usually go on sale for like 100, I've noticed. The thing about these is you can use them for lights. You can use them to fly a GoPro camera, a camera, uh, and you can use them to uh, hang mics. So, a little bit about this stand is that it's really heavy duty. They're made to hold up a really heavy object, right? You can weigh down the base with weights. You can, uh, you know, kind of cuddle the stands together, right? Uh, with, with these stands, they kind of don't cram in a corner very easily, but with these, they're actually made to just kind of stack, you know, right on top of one another in a corner out of the way. And that's because of this uh, turtle base here. And then of course the highest uh, leg of this base, I just pile on uh, these bags of gravel. And it's a great stand. It's not, you know, it won't go as low as these, right? So to mic a snare drum, this might be too much. It might be a problem. This is too high of a lowest point. I mean, this is the lowest point uh, for the boom arm right here. Whereas down here with these stands, it's it's a good 18 inches lower on the standard mic stand. But here's what makes these, sta these stands special is this bar right here. Now this bar right here contains a thread that looks very familiar to what you might see on uh, like a zoom recorder, like the H6, the H2, any sort of camera, GoPro, whatever. I'm sure a lot of you film sessions and whatever, you can put it on here. But then on this side, might look a little familiar. With a simple adapter, you can get this to the uh, United States uh, thread here. So now you have access to anything in the microphone world. And from here, if you want to, you know, have an angle, you can add one of these. Um, but you know, now you can put a mic, and you can put it up really high. Not that you'd want an M88, 10 foot in the air, but really any microphone that you would like can now go on here. The other cool thing about this is that this is not just a stand or it's not just mountable on this side. You can actually swing it and mount multiple mics on the beam itself. So the C-stand actually comes uh, uh, with this part here. I'm not sure what the industry term is for it, but uh, you don't have to have it up at the end or this end. You can go anywhere in between. Uh, this is so that they can, you know, set up reflectors or shields to, to block out sunlight. They actually can put, uh, you know, two or three, whatever they need in here and actually clamp, you know, like a small screen or a reflector. But the cool thing about this is, is that if you want to do like a like an array of mics or some sort of configuration, you can, you know, get um, things that connect into here that have the threading and you can mount multiple mics on the stand. So it's super adaptable. There's not just one type of, uh, one type of attachment that's accepted in this part. You can get all sorts of things. Super adaptable. Again, it's not as, uh, you know, it's not as slick as a black stand that goes lower or then can go up high, but these can go as high as my ceiling, up to 12 feet, no problem. And they're super flexible. You just have to have a couple different parts. Um, it's a little weird, but if you need to mount an overhead and you need to make something really solid, this might be a good option for you in your studio. And so again, this is the Flashpoint C stand usually used in the video and film world. But I'd love to know what you think of this. Again, it's the Tamra, the Tama um, Ironworks for the, uh, the full-size boom stand and the short, and then the Flashpoint C-Stand. 
I mean, really, you could do about anything. If you don't like the seat stand, I'd probably go um, with the onstage. But this is going to be more adaptable. I think it'll last longer. Um, it's built like a tank, and it's cheaper. So I'd love to know what you think of this. We'll be hanging out in the comments below.